<laughs> on your call. Cut G3 Sportsman, Truman Lake, start now. <laughs> Get him. I'm going to tell you something right there. <laughs> Good girl. That is a good. I gotta get him out of that. That's a heck of a crappie right there. Now get out of her way. <laughs> That's a good start right there. Tell you what. G3 Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. That's good duck footage. We get the opportunity to go to different parts of the country and, and duck hunt, and it's my favorite you know, places to go is, is really my home state of Missouri, and I really don't think that there's any other place in the United States as good as our own state here in Missouri, the Show Me State. <laughs> You just say. Okay, take them. That's a good little flurry. That a baby. Biscuit. Give me a little there. Good boy. Had a boy. About a year or so ago, um, you know, I'm hunting with a lot of people around this area and started talking to some other guide friends of mine and they've been helping me get set up. And so I've just been guiding for the past couple of years. This year has been really good so far as this is the first actual year where I've got a website and been made some really good contacts and been able for people to get a hold of me. That's kind of how the guide thing got started. I enjoy it, um, especially the kids, the guys bring along uh, their grandkids or or their kids getting young ones started in duck hunting, I think is what's gonna keep us guys when we get older hunting. So that's something I try to do a lot of. You better take him. Okay. Just kind of coming in in twos right now. Uh huh. Boy, I tell you, a good dog is hard to beat. Man, I tell you what, <clears throat> I don't know what I'd do without Trigger there. My dog, you know, no matter how good a guy shoots or <clears throat> or anything, you're always going to have cripples and stuff. And uh, he never lets me down. And I say that, you know, knock on wood. I'm sure there'll come a day, but you know, he's after that cripple right there, and he makes some long, long pickups, and he stays with them until it's done. I don't know what I'd do without him. It's Gator Tough, strong enough. Keep something going when the going gets rough. Gator Tough, strong enough. Everything you need. Summer, spring, winter, fall. G3 lets you do it all. There's nothing like a Gator Tough G3. No, there's nothing like a Gator Tough G3. 
Visit G3Boats.com to find your nearest G3 and Yamaha outboard motor dealer. You know, sometimes you just got to think outside the box. Fioki, what's your game? The hunt doesn't last a day. It starts months earlier. With digital camera, topo mapping, three axis compass, and satellite imagery. Get everything you need for the hunt with Oregon 550T from Garmin. The Yamaha VMAX SHO. First it changed the game, now it set the standard. But don't take our word for it. The whole shot was everything they said it was going to be. And we accelerated from like 50 miles an hour to 70 and it was like that. So fast, so quiet. I mean, you give it power and it's just there. That thing right there is just bad. The whole shot on it. The second to none. Oh, yeah, it's for real. Take a demo ride and feel the power yourself. You'll know why we call it the game changer. This segment of the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by G3 Boats. A great catch. Fioki Ammunition. What's your game? Abu Garcia. For life. And by Garmin. We'll take you there. Not too bad. A little mixed bag of some mallards and some gadwalls. We've still got four out there that, uh, that the dog's picking up and everything's been a good late afternoon hunt and I look forward to coming out here in the morning. We should have a just an ideal hunt. We'll get Jeff in to pick up the uh, rest of the ducks and uh, when we see you in the wonderful world of editing, we'll be out here in the morning. But we are back here in the wonderful world of editing. It's the, second, it's the uh, first morning here that we're getting to hunt down here in the Truman Lake bottoms here. Good crisp morning. We've already been here in a little bit of shooting, seen a few ducks here while we was getting everything set up, so it should be a pretty good morning. Isn't it, Jim? Absolutely, yeah. Looks like it's gonna be a little bit cloudy today. Hopefully when the sun comes out, some of that'll burn off. We've got a good wind at our back. Broke a little ice this morning, but I think we're gonna do well. Uh oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> They'll start descending. <laughs> Kill him right there. All right, guys, get him. Every once in a while, I need to show them how to shoot because Biscuit's on the pole. Our boy Biscuit got him. Yeah, I had, I had this. Right, my dad. I know. Way. I know. I know. <laughs> All right. Hey, that's good enough to kind of break the chill off. Get that yeah, one. Uh, get, get it that, going. Get that one drake down. It is a drake, isn't it? Yes, sir. That's what I thought. Today we're shooting the uh, the Berettas, just the 391s right here. You know, you see them clad camoed in the Max 4. And uh, I tell you what, as far as hitting old Biscuit here, we've converted him into a, he's a Beretta man now. I tell you, <laughs> he comes out here with old Brand X and, and laughing at us, but uh, I tell you what, the difference is in the pudding tonight. This is your first time shooting I tell you, a Beretta. Yeah, I've been around him a little bit, guiding and stuff, you know, but uh, as for pulling and swinging one, then just find a shotgun as I've shot. They're nice and light, you know, and they're thin. You can get on top of them real well, and they really do a good job. Yeah. Swing real nice. Both you boys have been shooting real good with them, and hang on. Hang on, son. Look at that right there. <laughs> All right, let's get him. Take him. Oh, 
Where we're located at here is uh, probably eight miles from Truman Lake. We're just on the uh, west side of Clinton um, in the Big Creek Bottoms. Well, what we're working with here uh, is kind of an oxbow. This levee runs out and stops right here, so it makes kind of an oxbow. We got some decoys behind us. Obviously decoys in front of us, a couple of mojos. We got two wake makers going here. Our goose floaters out, because it is goose season here in the middle zone. Um, we're in the Big Creek Bottoms, Honey Creek Bottoms, kind of right in between the two. Um, it's a great place. It's been planted with uh, Japanese millet. It's a lot of natural flood water, but also we can raise and lower the levels as much as we want. I'm gonna get him. Smoke him. Nice shot. Nice shot. Yeah. Way to go. That's what we want right there. Yeah, buddy. I've been hunting in this area for, gosh, probably 20 years. And to watch it grow up um, and uh, the flyway coming straight through uh, Clinton, Missouri is just unbelievable. Um, it's nice to see uh, younger generations such as Jeff getting out there working with uh, everybody and uh, meeting great landowners uh, to be able to let us hunt on their property. Uh, just phenomenal. Yeah. Good shot. Boy, I mean, just come out of nowhere. I saw him way up high. Sit. Sit. Yeah, Sit. just come out of nowhere. Sit, we sit trigger. here and we work two or three little groups or whatever, and we've got, the one thing you always have to worry about and, and, and put up with sometimes in duck hunting is your fellow duck hunters. And these guys are, you know, they've got just as much right to hunt around as, as we do. How far away are they? Oh, probably 200 yards, I'd say. Yeah, so, you know, sometimes- Big group coming in. Big group right here. I'll talk about it in a minute. Right here, right here. They're committing. Well, hold steady. Hold steady. You just say. You ready? Let's get him. I only had two shells in my gun. What I was saying earlier, you know, we've got hunters over here, you know, they're competing with the same group of ducks. Sometimes you feel like they mess you up, and I guarantee you they feel the same way that sometimes we mess them up, but in the end, it always seems to work out. Everybody gets a, a good bunch of shooting right here. We just did, had a great group come in. Man, that's duck hunting right there. You know, these shells we've been shooting today have, have been these Fiocchi Tundras. I know you guys have seen us on these waterfowl shows of uh, shooting these things and, and really they've, they've just been a, a, a great shell out here for waterfowl. And these guys, it's the first time they've shot them and you know, I, I would assume that uh, you guys, I thought they act, you know. Man, I tell you what, they'll, they'll knock them stone cold dead. I like that ounce and five eight shot, you know, is it? Ounce and five eight got some super brass on here. I mean, they're heavy and that's what you need right here to pull these ducks and knock them things down. You get this wind, it'll cut the wind on them. Not as fast as some of the uh, shot that, that you may be used to out there with some speed steel or whatever, but when you hit them, they're gonna go down. There's no question about it. And that's gonna help your dogs on your tree too. But which two did you get, Biscuit? These two right here? I think these two right hey. here, wasn't it? Hey, over here. Hey, what, boy, that's right there. When you've got that many out there, it's kind of nice when you can kind of pick your shots and pick the, pick the green heads. Man, that is. That is A-OK -okay right there. That's some good stuff. Come on along, 
get a great catch today. Sit and relax, you're gonna stay. The water is waiting, come on, let's play. Let's all catch a G3 day. Suncatcher series by G3 Boats combine luxury, comfort, and performance into a full line of pontoons to fit your every need. Let your Suncatcher lifetime memory start today. Let's all catch a G3. Visit G3Boats.com to find your nearest G3 and Yamaha outboard motor dealer. I'll tell you what, waterfowlers, I shoot the Beretta Extrema 2. I just can't believe how universal in its application this gun is. And it fires every time I squeeze the trigger. Here they come, here they come. There's no question that this thing works in all conditions. That's the best shotgun I've ever shot. Take the real deal is that the gun just works and works and works. Good shot. Wow. Get inside the Beretta Extrema 2. Blast off at BerettaUSA.com. This segment of the G3 Sportsman is brought to you by Beretta. 500 years, one passion. Mossback fish racks. No matter how you stack them, we attract them. Berkeley. Catch more fish. Shakespeare, quality fishing tackle since 1897. And by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. While we're picking these ducks up, we've, we're hunting a place here um, outside of Clinton, Missouri. That's actually owned by a friend of ours, uh, Johnny Everhart, and uh, who's affectionately called around here, Dr. Duck. And uh, he and, and Jeff here do a, a outdoor radio show that's, that's uh, is here locally. It's been 14 years almost, and we used to do it live right there in the sporting goods store. We had call-ins, we'd done a four-hour show, and uh, people would stop in the store and say, where are you going fishing at? Kind of get a tip and hints from everybody that stopped by. Do it out of a basement, as, as you've seen, and uh, have a lot of fun doing it. Nothing fancy about our show, just good down-home show. Everybody seems to like it, they can relate to it. I'm off live from the Wilderness Lodge and Chicken Farm in Deep Woods along Honey Creek in Elevation. 744 feet. This is Linda Everhart. Welcome to Missouri Outback. Jeff Bachmanberry is here along with Johnny Everhart and our special guest Scott Turnage and Eric Kine to bring you the latest in hunting, fishing, trapping, and the great outdoors right here in beautiful West Central Missouri. You've been come down here to do some duck hunting in this area and, and you picked up old Jeff here. Old buddy Jeff yeah. Bachmanberry. Yeah, just a, a great young man. It, it's it's a pleasure to see the youth still, you know, involved in duck hunting, and someone that really is is really enjoying it as much as he is. It, it's it's good for old guys like us to see, you know, some of the young young guns sure. come up and and take the torch and, and run with it, and it's 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 refreshing to see. Hunting for me is is nonstop. Working at Everhart's Outdoor Store. That's my full time job, and I. I do this on my off days, but uh, you know, I'm around this stuff all the time as the seasons come and go. I do a little bit of everything, of course with the waterfowl hunting, turkey hunting, um, I guide fishing through the summer and uh, late winter months, um, but guys come in the shop and I'm through the summers constantly tuning duck calls and tuning goose calls. And, helping them with this or they're helping me with that. It's something that I'm around all the time. It keeps my fever going, especially through duck season. Well, my full-time job obviously is here at Everhart's Outdoor Store in Clinton, Missouri. Um, it's, uh, it's around a 16,000 foot square foot store. Um, we got everything from duck decoys down to fly rods for trout fishing. Um, we probably got the largest selection of crappie jigs for the Truman Lake area, uh, we have firearms, gun safes, blinds, layout blinds, um, just everything you need right here in one little store, kind of a little hometown shop, and hope we can get people from all over to come by and check us out.
right there, right there. Nice. Good boy. Had to work for that one. Yeah, he did. Until these ducks just showed up last couple of days, when the ducks have been here for a little bit, their legs are just, just so much brighter. They also say that, you know, guys talk about the red legs, mm -hmm. that, that has to do with the state of the time, the breeding period they're in, that their legs get real bright colored like that. Yeah. So a couple different factors there. Nice green heads for sure. Man, I mean that. Introducing a revolutionary way to attract fish, the Mossback Fish Rack. From the box to the water, setup is a snap, and you can be fishing in no time. The rough surface on the branches encourages algae growth, and the unique design virtually eliminates hanging hooks. Use the Mossback Fish Rack in your pond, hang it off your dock, or sink it in your local lake. Join the guides, pros, and weekend fishermen who are already reaping the rewards. No matter how you stack them, we attract them. To learn more, visit Mossback Rack. Com. I was so sick of him fishing, I ran over his ugly stick with his own truck. Don't get me wrong, I couldn't be happier that he found a hobby. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go fishing today, Harry! I, uh, I'm a peaceful person. So I gave it to our dog, Sugar, as a chew toy. Your mom and her husband back! What is that thing made of? You know what happened? Nothing! Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Ugly stick. Tested under some of the harshest conditions on Earth. Stupid ugly stick. Design backed by cutting edge precision. Sophistication that's world renowned. Durability that's not to be outdone. So why do we insist on such perfection? We know what's at stake. Veritas and Verdict, the next generation of the V-Series from Abu Garcia for life. Man, I, I, I love the fact, and I know I harp on it quite a bit, you know, we've got to get more and more young people into the sport of hunting. And it's, it's good to see someone like, like Jeff that's, that's a, a young go-getter out here. He's starting his own guide business, and, you know, he, his calling is just, I mean, it, it's just second to none. Um, look here, look here. Look at what, here. what we got. <laughs> Nothing. Fine. <laughs> Get him. Nice shot. Yeah, you know, good friends like you and Eric, I'll tell you, it's just uh, uh, nothing beats it. Just getting out here in the outdoors, seeing nature work, um, nothing can place it. You know, we want to thank you guys. We want to thank Mr. Uh, Johnny Everhart for allowing us the opportunity to hunt over here on his place and uh, and doing his outdoor show. And, and we just had a ball down here, Jeff. We really appreciate you having us over here. Well, Trevor did good too. It was nice having you guys. Good, great people to work with. Uh, appreciate y'all coming down. And and uh, yeah, again, appreciate Johnny Everhart letting us hunt out here at the Wilderness Lodge outside of Clinton, Missouri. Um, it's been a good time. A lot of ducks down. I hope you guys had fun. Yeah, and let me tell you, if you guys ever get the opportunity, we want to come down to the Clinton, Missouri area here around Truman Lake and uh, and hunt with Jeff. I'll tell you what, you you will certainly not be disappointed. There's no question about it. Uh, give him a call there. You can uh, check all the information down here. Trigger, you about ready to get another couple of retrieves here, bud? Yeah? All right. <laughs> but that's all the time we got for this week's show. Hope you enjoyed it. Just remember, we'll be out there somewhere next week right here on the G3 Sportsman. Thanks for watching. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. Thank you, Biscuit. Jeff? Yes, sir. The G3 Sportsman is brought to you by G3 Boats. A great catch. The Oki Ammunition. What's your game? Abu Garcia. For life. Garmin. We'll take you there. Beretta. 500 years, one passion. Mossback Fish Racks. No matter how you stack them, we attract them. Berkeley, catch more fish. Shakespeare, quality fishing tackle since 1897. And by Yamaha, reliability starts here. Tell you what, uh, makes a huge difference when it comes to duck hunting. Just absolutely phenomenal. 
<laughs> My bloopers. You better do <laughs> Okay, now, if you're gonna look somewhere, kinda look off towards them dead branches right there. About a year or so ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no.